What's up guys, Barry Gaming here, back with some more Idle Heroes, and today we're on yet another viewer account, yep, two in one day, I'm finally catching up with it, so again, like I said earlier today, if you didn't check it out, I mentioned, if you want Sea Land done, if you want me to try to do them for you, or Aspen Dungeon at that, make sure you send me a DM over on Discord, we will try to line it up, there's a lot of people in line, so be patient, I'll try to work through everybody as fast as possible, but we do have Surreal today, and what we're going to be trying to do is push Light Sea Land. So we're at 16 right now. Not sure if we're going to get 20, but we're going to give it a good try here. So, uh, first things first, we got a Russell. I like the stone. Um, Do we have the gear split? Yes, I think we can do a gear split. Looks good there, so we'll get that going. We will swap to... Man, I wish we had like a demon bell on this account, but we will switch to an antlers cane, I think, and then swap the enables over to that right there. 22322, two, 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 which is good. Besides that, we are going to be running all of these Michelles. Let's get some gear splits going. Um, now let's do something like, what do I need for? Oh man, wait, there's a four star. Okay, I'm losing my mind, guys. We do have three... We got three magic sources plus one extra. So here's what we're going to try to do. We're going to have to do some big RNG here. <laughs> like we're going to have to high roll. So what we're going to do is we're going to throw magic source on those. Oh man, these gear splits are getting worse and worse. <laughs> Let's go down to four and like three. Actually, no, we can go like, yeah, that works. We can do that with another magic source. We have three Michelles with magic source. So one, two, three, four. We need two more spots. I don't really even want to use that as Medell. What I want to try to do is use these holy kids. Um, and we are going to put an energy artifact on this one. I guess, you know what? We probably should only use one of these. So what I'm going to do is level this one up to 30 just so I know the difference. Because... The, uh, the active attack here has a chance to stun one random enemy for two rounds. It's not as good as Michelle because Michelle, of course, has a chance to hit three enemies. Granted, it's a 35%, so technically, like, the odds are even. You just don't want to hit the boss with any of them. Um, yeah, that should be fine. Man, we got, like, a really weird gear set up here. Let's go 3-3-4-4. Three, three, four, four. Yeah, there we go. That looks good. And then, you know what? I guess we will throw an Asmodel in slot one just to maybe tank some hits. Not the best gear setup. Do we have any warrior gear? I imagine we have some warrior gear, right? There we go. Nope, give me that. Wrong button. There we go, Barry. <laughs> All right, we'll throw that on and throw that. Oh, why not? We'll leave that one. Fear Destiny. Sure, there's nothing there. Okay, let's jump into it. Let's see what type of pet we have. Do we want to use Phoenix or do we want to use Dragon here? Hmm. So, do these have... I don't think the baby Michelles have a burn, do they? Uh, Dot will be inflected. will cause... So, what does this do? When she dies, she will revive 60% HP. Begin around. And obtain blaze. So, yeah. We do want the Phoenix then. Because we will be applying some burns to some enemies. I imagine... I imagine we'll get some uh, decent attempts in. What we're going to do is buy 10 of these right here. Get these going. Let's jump in. We're, of course, putting Russell in the very last slot. We're going to put you there. Then we are going to put the Holy Kid in the front row. And then three Michelles with the Phoenix pet, of course. So a lot of this is going to come down to RNG. Usually, I like running Russell with energy for one big reason. And that is so that... He can't get de-energied round one. What you'll see here is they will attempt to de-energy the back line. Can we get any stuns? Oh, only one stun. So the big thing is we need to dodge the de-energy. So right there, you saw the Michelle got hit with it, which is perfect. We do not want our Russell to get hit with that. Ooh, Russell is getting beat up. How is the Asmodel still alive? But that big burst is great. The problem is you got to get through and kill this man right here before he gets his second active off. So there goes all that. I don't know. Is it enough ticks? Is it enough? 
Oh, it is. All right. Perfect. Perfect. So that works there. Let's push on to 18. See if we can get something good here. We need some good star stun RNG. Two stuns. Not too bad, honestly. But we did get de energy so this is going to really, really hurt. You see, exactly what I said. When you get de energy you kind of lose your chance to win because you're going to take so many hits in round three from all the little minions. That's why sometimes using like a demon bell can be better just because you get in the air round one and there's 0% chance for you to get hit right there. We lost the energy again, which most likely means we have no chance. You know, we're not even getting to that burn. <laughs> I just realized that we're not even getting there uh, again. Yeah, it's just your RNG. If you see the D energy, you're stuck. You really want those stuns on those two priests. Oh, we got the D energy again. Stun and stun, stun and stun. Come on, you can do it. You can do it. We didn't stun anybody. Oh my God. <laughs> we didn't stun anybody and we got double D energy. All right. So we might buy like 10 more attempts just to see what we can do. So let's see where these are going. We got a stun there. I mean, two stuns isn't bad. There's four targets and they just keep hitting the Russell. Oh, man, this is triggering guys. Yeah, there's no way we actually maybe I mean, maybe with crazy, but he already procced on bending, which is yeah. This is what really frustrates me. L granted, there's a lot less RNG and light sea land than like even dark, but that D energy triggers me so much because there's nothing you can do about it except run something stronger like a demon bell because we don't have enough. We don't have enough energy artifacts on this account to use one on him. So this is like this is one of the most frustrating experiences I probably ever have lately. <laughs> How does this keep happening? <laughs> oh man. What happened? Like the first one on the last on the the first time on what were we? 17? Like we did it one shot pretty much. We didn't get hit by it. It worked perfect. Oh no, oh no, no, no. <laughs> Alright, so we are gonna buy 10 more. And then if we can't finish past there, we'll kind of call it for right now, but Let's see what we can do. Maybe we get a little bit lucky here. These little earphone jacks just de-energy me over and over. You know what? Maybe we should do this. Is that going to make a difference? Maybe. Right, hold on. We're going to slow it down. Of course, we get a stun there. But where does this one hit? I, I take hits there, but they don't hit the back row. Maybe that's better. Granted, we do lose some HP there, but maybe it lowers the RNG needed to actually clear this. Oh, we lost unbending. I don't know. Yeah, because he takes too many hits. I think he takes way too many hits in slot two. I think we just need... Oh, wow. That was some god tier stun. This one should be easily done, I think. I don't think we're going to have a problem here. Yeah, we should wipe them all out. We still have layers of unbending. Plus, we have the Michelles up to eat up some hits, maybe. We're actually going to get an active, too, to make sure the burn's on there. <laughs> actually, we don't even need to. So, yeah, maybe slot two is better if you can high roll the stuns as well. It just adds another RNG factor in. Is But then again, I mean, if we got that god tier quad stun. Oh, wow. We actually no, He hits the front row, too. Yeah, he definitely hits the front row as well. I'd rather do this and save some unbending will shields. Literally just got a high roll. That was almost perfect. I think we actually have Sealand 19 done as well here. Let's see how this works, though. You never know. Things could go sideways real quick here. But we still have the Asmodel to tank some in the front. Ooh, we're not going to quite take out all of the little earphone jacks of death. Maybe we have enough pings maybe maybe yes we do <laughs> yes we do there we go all right so that's 19 done as well all right that's not too bad you know i don't know if i actually check this okay good we have the right setup for some reason i was thinking we did not have the right setup but that's good so if we can high roll like a quad stun we can definitely wrap this up here it's literally going to come down to the holy kid and the michelle's getting those stuns off 
but let's see we got four more tries we'll just give it these four just to see if we can get it done uh yeah that's not gonna happen yep not gonna happen <laughs> the second you don't see stuns coming from the michelles it's kind of rip um i didn't look to see if we had another michelle instead of the holy kid but that that's not gonna work because yeah exactly what i said let's check do we have anything in the bag do i see a michelle anywhere i do not so that must be all the michelles right now darn one more michelle would have really lowered the rng here instead of the holy kid like i said the holy kid could hit the boss he could hit someone that's already stunned just kind of feels bad if we had one more energy i would probably even sit the asmodel and run another holy kid with energy but as you see everybody dies here um maybe this works but i think we might take too many hits here yeah that's a lot of hits and we didn't crit on everybody i don't think yeah we're gonna take way too many not gonna happen really close though considering we got so few stuns right there come on one more uh we only got one stun that's not gonna work okay last attempt we're gonna buy one more yes guys one more and only one more can we do it let's get steely and 20 done let's get it done let's get it done i want this to be finished for surreal that was near perfect so we have a high chance of winning this if russell crits everything Ooh, he didn't recruit like anything <laughs> oh god i usually don't like running antlers cane honestly i kind of like running something more like a kiss of ghost but uh, i mean hey we got 19 done that is pretty good especially for what we had to work with again more michelles more energy artifacts easily done with just one e5 russell which is why i put him at the top of the mid high spenders first e5 to build tier list so yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Definitely, definitely fun every time we can play around with Russell, especially in Sea Land, because it's so easy to finish it. Usually I don't get to record it for people because people just get through it right away. So let me know what you guys think. Hopefully this helps you guys out if you are working on Light Sea Land as well. And again, if you want me to take a look at your account, check your Sea Land out, maybe even Aspen Dungeon, send me a DM, send me some pictures, let me know what you're working with. If it looks promising, I'll contact you and we'll see what we can do. So hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you guys next time.